good, y'all? It's your boy Danny Myers, and you are tuned in T7M Radio, Battle Rap's premier radio network. Now, the URL is doubling up, brother Jeff. Let's get into another topic. I wanted to have okay. Grail on this topic. He said he was calling up, so hopefully we get Grail on in a couple minutes. We'll bring it back, but the URL right, is doubling right. up. They having another card going down. Oh, I just speaking of the devil. Let me go ahead and bring the big old yes. yes, sir. <laughs> Grail, what's problem? Yo, shaking. I just mentioned you, G. Salute. June the 11th, they got another event going down called Ascension. And featured yeah. on the Ascension card is something that you brought to light maybe about a week yeah. ago. We talked about Rich yeah, Dollar return to the URL. And I know I asked yeah. you who would you feel would be the most suitable opponent for him. And you brought up the Bowtie yeah. Killer. We got a URL trailer right. about less than 48 hours ago. The return to Rich Dollars. Yeah. And lo and behold, his opponent... Is the Botox killer from out here and be more the big homie prep? I don't even want to kind of push you into some direction. When you first seen prep on that cell phone with that clip, lot of zinc, I mean, you brought all of that up. When we talked about this, you you brought all of that up. The whole reference about prep and lot of zinc, you brought that whole thing up to a T. What was your first thoughts when you saw the trailer? I was kind of like shocked. And the most shocking part about it was of him holding the phone and playing the exact clip. And I just, I was like, wow, they got that shit down to the science, like, for real. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Now, once the shock value wore off, did you feel like, were you ha- are you happy? Were you excited? Did you feel slap in the face? Like, we're just as a fan, I mean, and, you know, there's no way to really prove this, but it was so close to home. Like, we already know how sometime the game going battle rap, but, you know, and I yeah. think league should, league should be influenced by the fans as far as, you know, what battles. I, this one was just a little different to me. I mean, this was just super different. But what what is your feel? Like, do you feel like an idea was taken from you? You ain't getting any credit. Like, where do you really honestly feel like? Maybe I'm going overboard, but just where do you feel about it? I mean... I mean, I'm like, yo, fuck it, man. I mean, I felt like it. I thought about it. It was on the, you know what I'm saying? I brought it to the light on the radio show, and I just felt like it was a plus game. It's like, it's other. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep it real with you. There's another matchup on the We Go Hardcore for the love of paper. I bought that I bought that to the table, too, but we ain't going to talk about that. And who is that? Clips and Gritty? All right, it's Mulan Cortez. Oh, Okay. Okay, and I was surprised because when Cortez had said that he had an up and coming artist, that's why he didn't take Ryder. I wouldn't, right. I never would, you know. Okay. And speaking of We Go Hard, we're going to chop it up a little bit about their card too because they got an unbelievable card for the Love of Paper 2 going down June the 24th. They got a okay. dope card featuring Clips is going to be in the building, Daylight is on the card, also Barney Godava. Uh, Grail mentioned Cortez. Mm-hmm. Excel is going to be in the building. They got a two on two. They definitely going to be doing their thing. Steams um, yeah. and the crew are doing their thing. At the end of the show, I want to reach out with y'all fellas and kind of go through each league that I can kind of think of. And I want y'all to tell me what's the one favorite thing y'all love about that league, you know, the most. Um, but wow. Uh, Brother Jeff, when you saw the trailer or when you heard that it was a lot, did did you... Did it recollect to you that Grail brought that up in our podcast last week, two weeks ago? You know what? It, it sh- shameful to say it, it didn't. But now that we're talking about it, I plain as day remember him bringing that up. But we kind of, you know, glossed over it because it wasn't the actual uh, actual topic. But you know, Grill knows stuff. He always has. He has. He definitely has. But it, it was also a surprise when it came to fruition, and you know in actual realness so yeah y'all owe my man grail some tickets to this event i mean y'all can put them way in the back i mean y'all can put them in a balcony y'all can put them next to the janitors y'all can you know what i mean wherever y'all want to put them is fine but y'all gotta get my man grail in the building for free to enjoy these festivities because i don't mm. this is just not mm. this is not this is unconstitutional this is illegal this is criminal 
whoever set up yeah. your battles really should be back, should be incarcerated for the weekend. You should have to stand in front hey, of the yo. commissioner tonight and explain hey, yo, how y'all came up with this matchup. You gotta pull out one of your drug tests, bro. No, there's, there's, this is not a, this is not a, this is a, not a drug charge this time. This is more like larceny. This is grand larceny, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. You know, because the impact of rich dollars is going to be crazy. But no, in all honesty, you know, salute uh, to the URL. Even if they did listen in right. to the podcast, if they got it, you know, from Grail, I think that's dope. You know what I mean? We ain't looking for nothing. We was just joking. But, you know, I think that's dope. That shows that they do tune in to, not just us, but just, you know, the streets in general and, and take heed to what the people want. Because I brought up in a blog, I feel like RBE is the um, people's chant when they come to giving the streets battles that they want. Um, URL, a lot of other battles, they put on good battles and give, you know, but this was really uh, more than coincidental if you ask me. My man Grail just said this just like a week ago on air. Yo, dude. The trailer, yeah. yo, when I seen the trailer, I was like, yo. Oh, yeah, that was the icing on the real, cake yo. for me. That was the icing on the cake for I'm me. Like, and, wow. and I'm blessed. I'm blessed that when I put out my material, you know, I got the different websites. They sending it directly to everyone that we're, that we're referencing, everyone that we're talking about, whenever we talk about an artist, whenever we talk about a league, you know, they sending it directly to them. You know what I mean? So it's not like. I mean, you know, it's not like they didn't, I'm not going to say they didn't listen to it, but, you know, I know they were tagged in it. You know what I mean? That's undeniable. You know, we, we got yeah. the, uh, I got the files. I say the files, but it's all good. Salute to the URL. Big up the rich dollars. Prep um, prediction real quick. Who you got, brother Jeff, in that battle? Because I'm going with prep. I don't care. I think rich yeah. dollars going to yeah. have a major impact the first round, but I've never known rich to really have that you know, seal a deal type of shit at the end. If he don't really pull off the first two rounds, I've never seen a big time third round by Rich. His third round was cool against Tay Rock, but you know he was already done by them. You know, I don't think I've never right. seen Richie really be a clutch player. I do credit Rich Dollars yeah. for being having a lot of heart. You know, battled Goods when he was young. He battled um, uh, Verb out of St. Louis. You know, he got a lot of heart. I think his heart oversees the skill set. He can freestyle. He's nice. You know what I mean? That's a slogan, and he is nice. I just don't think he is witty as Prep. I think Prep got too much for this nigga, man. I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I got to agree. I'm with you. I got Prep on this. And if anyone has noticed, I'm not sure if they have, but we have a brand new Prep these days. This Prep is humble. This prep, this prep does his work. He does his homework. He writes like crazy now. I think uh, Prep definitely going to take this for sure. I'm, I'm with you on this one. This is a different prep. This isn't cocky prep. This isn't uh, arrogant prep. He is serious these days. So definitely prep got this. Um, I just prep got some proven to do though. I'm not going to lie because I mentioned Agreed. Rich Dollars not being able to beat Verb and Rich Dollars not uh, being able to beat Goods. Prep don't have a big name W on his belt, I don't think. He had a classic versus the saga, but, you know, I thought he lost to Chilla. Thought he yeah. lost bad to yeah. Chilla. So, you know, Prep still got some proving to do. You know what I mean? I don't think this is a, like a, this is going to be a body or no shit like that. I just right. think, I just think right. he too advanced for, um, I just think he too advanced for um, the homie Rich Dollars. What about you, Grail? Who you got? I got two one Prep. I got I got I got Richie taking the first and I got Prep taking the second and third. Okay. 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 Agreed again. Agreed again. Uh, Grail, what's your thoughts on URL having two cards announced in really one battle announced out of two cards? I, I think all the like, you know what it is? I be feeling like they be seeing what be going on. It's a lot of other leagues advertising their events. As soon as these other leagues start advertising their events, they come out the blue and start putting their shit to try to take the light and the eyes off of the other leagues and put the eyes back on the most respected. That's what I be thinking. Agreed. Agreed again. Now they dropping announcements. They dropping announcements like King of the Dot dude. What's your thoughts on that? 
I don't like that. I follow the innovators, not the amateur. I, I, I remember that, but I'm not seeing that. Mm. Talk that shit. Mm. Mm. What about you, brother Jeff? Um, Once again, I agree. It's about that capitalism. If you get capital on it, they 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 gonna do that. That has been proven. No right. one's going to get a leg up on these brothers. That's the attitude that I'm seeing, especially right. when it comes to King of the Dot. They're not letting them boys get ahead of them. They're not letting the suburbanites get ahead of them. Talk that shit. This is the coach of T7M Radio, 7 Mitchell. We got Grail in the building. Brother Jeff Callers, y'all call up 347-989-8102. When we come back, we're going to chop it up. John John and Dawn, bullpen battle league, made a boss move. They got B Dot coming out of retirement battle in Loso. We're gonna talk about that battle, give predictions mm-hmm. and some more here on the Coach of T seven M Radio. Let's lock in with Chef Trez with this new joint. What's up, people? Seven Mitchell with T7M Radio. Make sure y'all check out our Patreon account. The link is in the description box. I created the Patreon account in order to get some help and support and trying to keep the podcast going. If you go to our Patreon link, you can donate as low as $1 per month to our Patreon account. What I'm going to provide to you guys, I'm going to give you exclusive content that you will not see anywhere else on any other platform. I want to say thank you again for supporting. The link for our Patreon account again is in the description box. T7 and Radio 7 Mitchell. The Culture with Seven Mitchell Battle Rap Debate Podcast on T7M Radio every Sunday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 347-989-8102. And follow us on social media at T7M Radio.